In this episode of 10 Best Ones, we're talking about the top 5 best bezel-less phones. I made this list based on my personal opinion, and I tried to list them based on their price, quality, durability, and more. If you want to see the price and find out more information about these, you can check out the links below in the description and the comment section. Alright, let's get started with the video. At number 5, it's the Oppo Find X. The Oppo Find X is a truly impressive bezel-less smartphone that has quickly established itself as one of the best options you can find on the market. So, let's get into action and find out what the secret recipe is behind its success. From a design perspective, the Find X sports a metal and glass body with a reflective coating that's present on the back of the unit. But what fascinated me the most regarding its design is its curved, bezel-less AMOLED 6.42-inch screen that looks absolutely majestic. But that's not all. Oppo has implemented Gorilla Glass 5 on the front and the back part of the unit with the intention to strengthen the smartphone as much as possible, so you shouldn't worry if you accidentally drop it out of your hands. At the top, there's the front-facing 25-megapixel camera, while at the back there are dual 16- and 20-megapixel cameras, which, according to the users, can capture beautiful photos and videos. Now, let's talk about the features. One of the biggest features that this camera has is the infrared sensor, which stands for face recognition, which I think you'll love. Moreover, this particular model has a Snapdragon 845 processor with 8GB of RAM and 128GB of storage space, which makes it a tough competitor to even the most popular smartphones on the market. I'd also like to add that its 6.42-inch AMOLED screen has a maximum resolution of 1080 by 2340 pixels, an aspect ratio of 19.5 to 9, and occupies up to 93.8% of the phone's face. This is truly insane. My only remark regarding its performance is the use of the ColorOS software, which is a bad combination of iOS and Android, but I think it'll get better with time since Oppo is constantly improving it. Finally, the battery life can handle a whole day of usage, and it takes only 30 minutes using the VOOC charger to reach up to 60% capacity, or 75 minutes to be fully charged. Overall, if you're looking for a bezel-less smartphone that combines a top-notch screen and performance, then this is the one for you. At number 4, it's the Huawei Mate 20 Pro. This is that time of the year where every phone raises the bar a bit higher than its predecessor, and the Huawei Mate Pro has just enough premium features to stand out from the crowd. In many ways, it's a superlative device that gamely competes with many other high-end competitors. However, Let's get into the details and see what this phone is capable of. From a design perspective, this phone packs a 6.39-inch display and it feels smaller than it should. This is because of the etched-out screen, which now pushes almost to the edge, aside from the requisite notch, of course, and due to the heavy reliance on curves. Huawei is a fan of experimenting with colors, and so the Mate 20 Pro is available in a wide variety of hues. Around the sides of the phone sit both a power button and volume rocker along one edge, with the other completely free of buttons. Personally, I prefer the lock button to be located on the opposite side of the volume buttons, since it reduces the chance of accidental presses, but nonetheless, this might not be such a big problem for you. The connectivity options consist of one USB-C port, an IR blaster on the top for controlling a TV, and it also has a fingerprint scanner beneath the phone's OLED display. Aside from being futuristic, this method of unlocking allows for a cleaner-looking device. Now, let's talk about the performance. The Huawei Mate 20 Pro is powered by the Kirin 980, a chipset designed in-house by Huawei. It uses four low-powered, two medium and two high-powered cores, each responsible for specific tasks. It also packs 6GB of RAM, which makes this unit work quickly and be responsive to tasks in an impressive way. Moreover, this phone also has a 20-megapixel camera with an f2.2 ultra-wide sensor. There's also a dual-tone LED flash rounding out the package. The manufacturer states that there's enough data and detail captured in the 14-megapixel sensor to make the extra info picked up by the black-and-white sensor redundant. To conclude, the Huawei Mate 20 Pro would make a great companion to you during your travels, since it has a perfect photo capture and it packs many premium features for the price. Midway on today's list, at number 3, it's the Samsung Galaxy S9. 
The Samsung Galaxy S9 is maybe the best smartphone produced by Samsung, because if you liked its predecessor, trust me, this one expands the borders of fast performance and beautiful design to a whole new level. From a design perspective, the S9 is available in three colours on Amazon, so you can choose between the coral blue, the lilac purple or the midnight black. Currently, we're reviewing the black one, which radiates with style. The smartphone's construction is made of an aluminium, while the 6.2-inch screen has a Gorilla Glass 5 coating, which means that even if you accidentally drop it on the floor, chances of breaking or scratching it are minimum. At the front top, besides the gorgeous screen, you'll also see a low-profile 8-megapixel camera with an f1.7, which means you can take beautiful selfies or have video chats. And if you flip the smartphone over, you'll instantly notice the S9 label on the bottom, dual camera system, along with a flash and a fingerprint sensor, which in my opinion could be set in a more accessible position. But let's talk about performance. The S9 has an octa-core processor, 4GB of RAM, 64GB of ROM, and if you don't find the memory enough for you, well, this smartphone supports micro SD cards of up to 400GB, which is super cool. Moreover, the 5.8-inch AMOLED screen has a Quad HD Plus resolution, or 2960 by 1440 in terms of pixels, with 529 pixels in every inch. So it's indeed gorgeous and exceptionally sharp. I also want to inform you that both the rear cameras have 12 megapixels, and they're capable enough to capture well-defined photos with a cinematic look. Before we end, I'd like to mention that the 3000 mAh battery can last you a whole day, however this isn't fixed, since everything depends on your actual usage. Overall, the S9 would be a great choice due to the fact that it's fast, looks beautiful, and the audio and camera quality are indeed overwhelming. At number 2, it's the Essential Phone. Founded by the creator of Android, the Essential Phone has all the features you care about most without a bunch of gimmicks. It offers a stock Android experience and looks like no other device out there, and so far the company has pretty much been able to keep their promises. Design-wise, this unit has the biggest screen-to-body ratio of any phone. With a stunning 5.71-inch edge-to-edge Quad HD display, you get a large screen and a phone that still fits comfortably in one hand, so you can enjoy more of what's on your screen without all those intrusive bezels. This masterpiece is crafted with space-age strength titanium, ceramic and Gorilla Glass 5, all of which are the most premium materials to be used for creating a high-end smartphone. But now, let's talk about performance. With a 13 megapixel dual camera and portrait mode, your pictures will be fantastic, and the Essential 360 camera is big enough to easily capture everything around you in 4K, but small enough to fit in your pocket, so you can take it with you anywhere you go. This PH1 comes with a whopping 128GB of storage, so you can easily store all your photos, 4K and 360 videos, games and more without worrying about running out of space or needing to spend any more money on external storage options. For your information, the PH1 runs pure Android, thus no unnecessary apps, preloads or anything that gets in your way of getting the latest Android updates and features, which I know to be a very fast and fluid experience. Furthermore, the click connector on the Essential Phone makes using accessories easier than ever. They magnetically attach and power up using your PH1, so you don't need to charge your accessories to use them. And because the click connector will be on future Essential devices, you can use your current accessories with future devices. Finally, the battery life of this unit is fantastic. It has 3.040 mAh capacity, which is more than enough to be able to last all day long, and maybe even more. To conclude, if you're looking for a durable, long-lasting smartphone that performs like a premium one, then we highly recommend you consider the Essential Phone, because it offers more than it promises. And right at number one today, it's the Apple iPhone XS Max. Apple finally delivers an iPhone with a huge screen, and for movie-watching, game-playing fans, the iPhone XS Max is an exciting new addition to the range. The iPhone XS Max is the biggest smartphone Apple has ever made. With a 6.5-inch display, hardly any screen bezel, and the now iconic screen notch, it's a dominating presence in the hand. From a design perspective, the iPhone XS Max is deceptive. If you pick it up, the rounded size of the handset will make it feel noticeably thick, 
which is a good thing in my opinion, since you'll feel more comfortable holding it. But it's only 7.7mm thin, which makes it thinner than all of its predecessors, and the reason for this is pretty simple – tapered edges. The steel frame around the outside and the new formulation of glass on the front and rear, which is tougher than the glass on the iPhone X, give the iPhone XS Max a supremely premium look and feel, while its resistance to dust and water have also been enhanced. In addition, the iPhone XS Max and XS both feature smart HDR, an improved mode over the standard HDR on the X, which improves shots with high contrast, ensuring all areas of the photo are well lit and detailed. The protruding module on the rear of the handset still houses two megapixel snappers and a vertical stack, separated by a quad LED True Tone flash. It also benefits from the new smart HDR mode and gets the addition of portrait mode. While the rear cameras capture the depth in a shot for a natural blur effect, the front camera works out the bokeh effect digitally. Apple has removed the headphone jack, in which case the Apple earpods are going to be included in the box, but take in mind that you can't listen to music and charge the phone at the same time since they use the same lightning port. Finally, this unit has the biggest battery life that Apple has ever put in an iPhone, with 3.174 mAh capacity, which is also great. Overall, this is the best built phone out there so far, and since it's at the top of our list, it's definitely the best one recommended for you. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you found it helpful, please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future. If you have any questions related to these products, you can leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.